Okay, there are two more above ground treasures in the Valley of Repose. Got everything in Awakening Wood and Perplexing Pool. Oh my gosh, there's still five more above ground treasures. Yeah, I believe that. We have skipped most of those above ground treasures. I think the only two we got were like the bottle opener on near where the yellow Pikmin were, and then the fishing bobber from the rage from the Toady Bloister. So yeah, there's still a lot a lot more to be okay, found I there. You. <laughs> but Valley of Repose? Okay. Um I think I'm gonna leave it there. I have a little bit left, like, I have a little bit left in me where I'm like, I could go farther, but I don't think I have enough left in me that I can do one of these two, uh, one of these two dungeons. Okay, you know what? Instead of doing one of those two dungeons, I have a little left in me. We're going back to Perplexing Pool, and we're gonna get some of the overworld stuff. That's what we're gonna do. Because I do not have, I don't have enough energy left to go through an entire cave, but I have enough to go for one more in-game day. All right. Come blue army. All right, this time we're gonna try to take down those water dumples. The ones that killed me in five seconds last time. Because there is a gate back there that I need to open. I'm kind of surprised none of them ate me, but all right, cool. That's great. Break down the gate. I think this leads to a separate area with hopefully a treasure. Choo-choo! Alright, in case there are any Shearwigs lying around, let's take some purple Pikmin. Oh yeah, my, week my weekend streams are longer than my weekday streams. Because weekdays I don't have very much time to stream. Because I work early in the morning. Weekends, though, I have more time, and I generally go as long as I can. Which is generally not that long. There are streamers that are like, I'm gonna go, like, 20 hours stream. I'm like, absolutely not. You, you guys are hearing how grouchy I am at the end of, like, just a regular old stream. Like, can you imagine how grouchy I'd be if I had to stream 20 hours of this? You see, like, I feel like there's a 50% chance for him to kill that Pikmin, and a 50% chance that he won't. Okay, well, um... I cannot believe he didn't kill a Pikmin there. I was literally about to press the star button. Oh, they're still busting it down. Alright. Here, pick up the grass. I hope that this actually leads to a treasure. It might not. Uh, Blue Artie is not Happy Artie. Blue Artie is Normal Artie. Happy Artie is Green Artie. Super Duper Happy Artie is Yellow Artie. I just very, very rarely, if ever, actually change my profile picture these days. I don't think I ever had a purple, Artie. Did he land on one of mine? No, he didn't. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, there is... Oh! That's right. I... Oh, that's right. Okay. Kill them. That's right, alright. I was about to be like, what is going on here? I, I know what this is about. Okay. Ah, oh, that's a lot of nectar. Okay. We're bringing our purple army back, now we're gonna need an army of whites. Yeah, red Artie is angry Artie. Or rather, frustrated Artie. Oftentimes, if, if you hear me quote-unquote raging, I'm not actually angry, I am frustrated. When I am angry, I don't get loud and shouty. I get very quiet.
Which, unfortunately, I also get quiet when I just have to concentrate. Alright. So this treasure back here is a pretty interesting one. We need white Pikmin. We need to toss them over here. Because there's a buried treasure over here. Now we do that whistle for them. But here's the thing. They can dig it up. But they can't carry it back because they have to carry it through water. So there you go. So they've they've dug it up enough that other Pikmin can help them out now. So now we need to throw all of the white Pikmin back. Perplexing pool is death. <laughs> that's a good one. Okay, there we go. So that's all 30 white Pikmin brought back. Now the blue Pikmin can dig it up, and because they are water Pikmin, they can actually carry it through the water back to the onion. And this is also why I wanted to kill all of the enemies along the way. So I killed the water dumples, and I also killed the uh, frogs. Oh, and we also need to refill these guys of their flowers. The president can take them back. Wonderful. That wasn't purple, Artie. That was dark blue, Artie. And that wasn't that wasn't anger. That was sad. Light blue, Artie is normal. Dark blue, Artie is sad. All right. You all need to be flower pigment. Wait, come on. Beautiful. Good job. That should now you should be able to take it back real fast. Barring anything else. Or... Please don't carry it directly on top of Toady Bloister, and we should be okay. Cool, and we even got rid of, like, the sheer wigs as well. Or at least most of them. There might still be some sheer wigs around here. Okay, skitter leaves, I don't care about. Skitter leaves are nothing. They don't actually kill your Pikmin. Come on! Kill them! Are you kidding me? I threw like 80 Pikmin on their heads. They should have insta-died. I, I threw like 10 Pikmin on each of them. If you throw a Pikmin directly on them, they instantly die. Why did they not instantly die? I should have waited and gotten... I should have waited and gotten the checkpoint. I'm trying to do too much too fast, and that's why I'm screwing up. It's my own fault. Alright, let's try that again. We know where to go. Should go quickly. Alright, President, you stay back. Take the usual 70 Pikmin. And we'll just do what we did last time, but we won't suck this time. It's easy. It's actually not easy, but I, I tell myself it's easy. <clears throat> wow. Sure, just don't bother swarming them, even though I'm blatantly telling you to. <laughs> that that's that's what happens. The sound alerts are very cheap, but if you do them a lot, it adds up. But also, you sometimes you got to play the sound alert just so you know what it is, so you can use it for the future. All right, I I can do this. 
The problem okay, is... I believe you. The problem is those water dumples are in the water. So I can't just use purple pigmen. And they're also all right next to each other, so you can't even just take them out one at a time. You kind of have to go gung-ho on all of them. I don't want to use a bitter spray. I'm running low on those, and I'm desperately going to need them for the future dungeons. So I actually... I Off-stream, I might grind up on some bitter sprays. Okay, let's try this again. There we go, see? See what you can do when you don't suck? Alright. Now, choo-choo. 30 purples, let's take out all of the sheer wigs. Um, <clears throat> Did I tell you to bring this pellet back? No, I did not. I told you to start breaking this wall. Why no? You don't get away. You don't get to get away with not doing work. Man, there there is stupid, and then there are Pikmin. On this, on this level, even the tiny enemies can be deadly, so... Oh, we gotta deal with them. Very good! That hopefully should be the last of them. Now we can go and take out the yellow wallywogs. Hopefully without... Annoyed Artie doesn't have a color. Annoyed Artie can be annoyed no matter what his mood. just a part of me. Alright, good job, boys. He broke down the wall, now let's take out the Wally Wog. See, easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'll take out the skitter leaf. Just in case. Because he can knock my pigment around while I'm trying to dig up the onion. Alright, two water dumples right next to each other. We gotta take them out. Good. <laughs> well done. We do that. Cool, nice job. They plucked all the grass. There's only two pieces of nectar in there, but that's okay. A child is in love with a. Br I don't. I don't know what's happening right now. I actually really do like the Perplexing Pool Overworld. Because it's not like... The treasures aren't really just lying out. You really do have to, like, solve some puzzles. You gotta think to get them, which I, I like that. It's putting the strategy in real-time strategy. It's great. I just hate it when the Pikmin blatantly act stupidly just to screw you over. 
which happens frighteningly often. Wiz Bane, Crash Zam Alakabam. Yeah, I don't I don't see myself needing any more white Pikmin. I do still need more purple Pikmin, but I think forty white Pikmin I I can't see myself needing more than that. the rest of them, or as many of the rest of them leaf as we can. Is that everybody? Nope. It's the one guy who's like, Herp! Didn't get there in time! Whoops! That's the one I can hold in my hand. Alright, I'm not taking a risk now. So what I'm going to do is, after they deliver the onion back to the ship, we're going to dip into the Citadel of Spiders to make a save point in the middle of the day, so that way, if we screw up later, we won't have to redo all of that again. You can do that. Mm, oh, that, that looks like a sweet onion as well. That's the best kind. Mm, I, I buy sweet onions from the store quite a bit. Use them in a lot of recipes. They're delicious. Cook them on the stove top. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Hey, enough with the flattery. Ferdy Pocos. Onion replica. <laughs> That's the real fame, doofus. <laughs> Alright. You got... <laughs> Yeah, making checkpoints in the middle of the day. If you're doing a no deaths run, it's a good idea. Uh, you've already entered this. You've already completed this hole. Yeah, but I want to get a save point. <sighs> liver and onions is great without the liver. Give up and escape. <laughs> Whoa! We did nothing! <laughs> Perplexing pool. Alright, I think I'm going to try to get the Ragu lid before the day ends. So, to do that, we're going to need to take out a Wallywog, and we're going to need to build a bridge, and knock down an electric fence, and bring the Ragu lid back. So there's a lot to do. Hopefully we have the time. in my hands so you won't slow us up anymore. Oh, that's great. Um, you've got to be... And again, he didn't kill any of my guys. Even though he landed right on top, I don't understand. At all. I mean, I'm grateful, but, again, it's just, it's not consistent, which arguably makes it worse. Alright, let's get our electric boys. We'll probably need more than that to knock down the, uh, the fence. Oh, wow. That was fast. 
That was really fast. Good lord. Yeah, so this is kind of a crazy thing you need to do. Oh, ooh. So you need to do you need to go back here. And no wait. Yeah. You need to chuck the yellow Pikmin over this wall. Whistle for them so they follow you. Then they go over here. And then you need them to break down the fence from that side. It's crazy. Now, I probably didn't bring enough yellow pigment. But oh well, what you gonna do? Kill these guys. Wow! Um, you are definitely not supposed to have that much HP. Okay, apparently dwarf bull bears have a lot of HP, and you can't just swarm them like that. Proxima usually does, yeah. He tends to lurk. I, I think today he had something else to do. But he was going to catch up on the YouTube VODs as they came out. See? This is why. This is why I made the checkpoint. Because now I don't have to redo all of that beginning stuff. And now I know I'm going to bring more than uh, 30 yellow pigmen. In fact, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of my blue Pikmin back. The reason I'm bringing all my putting all my blue Pikmin back is... Okay. Wow, I only have 45 yellow Pikmin. That's actually really bad. I probably... I need more than that. I need more than that. Considering I basically have 100 blues, like, oh yeah, I, I need more than 45. How come I only have 45 yellows? That seems really weird to me. I thought I had, like, 70-something. Darn it, I should have had the yellows carry back some of those corpses. Yeah, lurk lurking in a stream means that you're there, you're watching the stream, you're just not actively participating in Twitch chat. Or whatever chat there is. Alright, hopefully, again, the leaf Pikmin worry me slightly, but that's okay. We got this. You doofuses! You've stolen all for yourself, you greedy butts. Let's try round two against the bull bears. This time, instead of swarming them, we're going to try to throw them on their heads. Yeah, that worked much better.
Okay. Let's get the frog away from the electric fence. How did that not kill him? No. He killed him. I hate how imprecise the frogs are. I hate how inconsistent they are. Either crush them all the time, or don't. Don't make it a random chance whether they crush them or not. The frogs are just so random. Like, so sometimes when they rise up in the air, all the Pikmin just stay on and keep hitting them. Sometimes they get knocked off. There's no rhyme or reason. It's completely random. You have no way of being able to determine what's what, and that really ticks me off. Like, if you're gonna make a strategy game, at least make it so that every single, like, enemy in the game has a consistent way of dealing with it. It can be difficult to deal with them, but at least make it so that there is a consistent method of doing so. Where did the final freaking guy go? Okay. I'm getting that freaking ragu lid today. And I'm not using sprays for it. It's also random when they jump. How much time they take before they jump. Like, sometimes they take a long time and they, like, scoot around to face you before they do it. And sometimes they jump basically immediately. And if, if you end up just keep throwing them under while they jump, they have a chance of just killing you. And there's nothing you can do about it. I'm getting that ragu. <laughs> it's literally the last thing I'm doing on this stream. I'm getting that freaking ragu lid. I thought it was going to be the electric fence that was going to give me problems. It's not. It's the stupid frogs. And, like, I guess I could... If I'm really, really careful and slow, I can do it consistently, but it takes so long to do it really, really slowly, and I won't have enough time to get the freaking ragu lid if I do that, so... Get over here, you stupid frog. Oh, and if you think the frogs are bad in this, they are much worse in Pikmin 1. When it comes to a no-deaths run. Yeah, and, like, sometimes the Pikmin weigh enough that it, like, just, they can't go in the air. I, I, there is li literally no consistency with the frogs. They are completely random enemies. Cool, all my yellow guys are flowered now. Just knock down the fence a little faster. Watch me not even have enough time to get the ragu lid anyways. It'll be like, oh, nope, sorry, you can't carry it back fast enough. Cool. 
Good job, good job, good job. Alright. First things first, we lure the frog farther away from the electric fence. We have to. If he's too close to the electric fence, he will kill us. Do not give me bad luck again. I don't know what to do! He jumped immediately! Every time he jumped, he at least waited like one to two seconds. That time he would just land it immediately jumped again. And like, he knocked my guys off from the first jump, so how could I have possibly done anything to stop that? He knocked them off and then immediately jumped on them. I, even if I whistled for them, they were still stuck on the ground. And I can't even use purple, because again, he's in the water. And there ain't no way I'm using a bitter spray on a frog. No way. Rank the Shrek movies? Um, I haven't seen Shrek 3 or 4. And it's been probably 10 to 15 years since I've seen Shrek 1 and 2. So, I don't know. Shrek the Halls is the worst. I'll say Shrek 1 is the best. And again, I haven't seen Trick 3 or 4, but I've heard 3 is bad. Yep, the Wally Wogs freaking suck. I'm just predicting that all of this is going to end with me still not being able to get the Ragu lid. Because it, like, it'll be like, oh, you weren't fast enough. Like, I'm, I'm gonna break down the electric fence before the day's over, but I bet it'll be like, you just didn't get the Ragu lid back. Which will be dumb. Okay. It only took throwing Pikmin in the exact same spot 20 times in a row, and him not moving to actually get the hit I needed. Okay. Oh, that guy, there's a freaking skitter leaf over here. Just... Um... Are you kidding me? He just jumped over the fence. All right. All right. Okay, that that that's how you want to play Wally Wog. That's how you want to play. You really want to cheat at the game just to make. Oh, okay. You are going to regret that. You are going to regret that.
Did you just crush him already? Good lord! It does not matter what you do, he always kills one. At least. Hmm. I don't... No, I'm killing that Wallywog first. I don't... It, it's gonna be less, less efficient in the long run, because it means there'll be more time just waiting for them to knock down the fence. I don't care. I'm not... Going through this stupid Wallywog, wasting more time again because he does some stupid bullcrap move that he's not allowed to do just to make make things worse. I swear the leaf pickling gets slower in every stream. How stupid do your Pikmin have to be? Good God. Why is this one Wallywog impossible to kill without having your Pikmin die? Why? I, can, I can't use a different type of Pikmin, because the guy's in the water. Only blue Pikmin are able to move in the water. If he was on land, you better believe I'd be using purple Pikmin. Purple Pikmin would wipe him out effortlessly. But because he's in the water, and you can't lure him on land when he's in the water, at least not that deep, I have to use blue Pikmin. You know what, forget this. I'll grind for bitter sprays off stream. I'm not dealing with this bull crap anymore. Maybe one of these will have a bitter spray inside. Wow, you drank all the nectar by yourself, you greedy pig. What's the longest time I've ever streamed on Twitch? 
Huh? Um, last Halloween stream. So last Halloween, in 2021, I streamed all, the entire game Doki Doki Literature Club. And that took... Let's see, I think I started at 8, and I finished at like 2 a.m. So I was streaming for about 6 hours. Probably would not do that again. And now, we wait. Oh, well, Shaggy's on a different level. Shaggy's a bit more serious about his streaming than I am. I stream purely for fun. I'm not streaming to get the views, I'm not streaming to get the money. I'm literally streaming because I enjoy it. Shaggy's streaming more seriously than that. And so he streams for longer. This could be dangerous. Yep. You're not drowning on my watch. Get that freaking ragu lid back. done, we can start bringing these guys back and build up that yellow population. I was about to be like, what the heck is that? But that's one of those spider guys who uh, came out of the egg. <laughs> I can't believe I had to use two bitter sprays just to get rid of those stupid frogs. I truly can't believe it. Ragu! America's favorite pasta sauce. Optical illustration. I don't know, I prefer Classico. Actually, as far as marinara sauce goes that you can get from the store, Ragu is my least favorite. By kind of a lot. There we go. Honestly, if I wasn't... If I, if this wasn't the end of the stream and I wasn't kind of eager to wrap things up, I would not have used the two bitter sprays. But honestly, at that point, I just wanted to get s vengeance on those stupid frogs, and I just wanted to get this over with, and I figured that was the fastest, most efficient way of doing it, so... There we go. We finally got the stupid ragu lid. I hope you're happy, Binky. <laughs> <sighs> oh, my goodness. There we go. Today's report. Onion replica and the optical illustration. That's it. Hmm. Seeing all them zeros. 
Oh, I think this is Louis' aunt. Louis, we suddenly stopped hearing from you. Everything okay? If things get tough, you can always come home. I'll stock up on those pick pick carrots you love. Thanks, Louis' aunt. Unfortunately, he, he can't come to the phone right now. We don't know where he is. <laughs> yeah. I felt like I was getting I was keeping my rage under control until you know what's the most until the end. Thing about winning? It's when you win. I love that feeling. I, I think what made me so annoyed about that last part is it should not have been hard. It should that last part should not have been difficult at all. But it was, and for all the wrong reasons. It wasn't difficult because it was legitimately hard. It was difficult because the game just kept saying, no, you lose a Pikmin. It... <sighs> Alright, well, that's all the time we have for today for Pikmin Free. Free? Pikmin 2. This was stream free of Pikmin 2. So, it, I think we will need two more streams to finish everything up. Because we still have two caves in the Valley of Repose, which will be difficult. And three caves in Wistful Wild, which will be nightmarishly rage-inducing. And then we got some overworld treasures in Valley of Repose and Perplexing Pool, and then all of the overworld treasures in uh, Wistful Wild. In between this stream and next stream, I will be grinding up in Perplexing Pool to get some bitter sprays. So when you see me next time, my day counter will be higher than it is now, unless I forget to do so. But that's them's the breaks. As for when I will be streaming next... Uh, so I'll be doing more Fire Emblem 6 on Monday and Wednesday. As for Pikmin 2, next Pikmin 2 stream might be next Sunday, not Saturday. Because I believe Saturday, Marty is coming over and we're going to record some stuff. So I might have to push it to Sunday. Or it might not happen next weekend. I'll try to keep people in touch. Uh, I'll try to post on my Discord when that happens. Link it to that in my About page. <laughs> it's dev it's Yeah, it's time to take a break from this game for at least... A week. <laughs> Thank you all for joining in, though. This was still fun, even though it was very painful at times. But to be honest, I'm kind of scared for next stream. I'm kind of scared, because uh, next stream, I think we're going to start by going to... Uh, we're either going to finish up Perplexing Pool, or we're going to go to Valley of Repose. And take on the Subterranean Complex. And let me tell you what, that... I am terrified of that dungeon. That's, that's where... The kitty gloves come off. Well, I mean, I guess sub submerged castles where the kitty gloves came off. This is where um, <laughs> they rip the training wheels off by force, and then also rip off your back tire, so you can only have a unicycle at that point. If if that makes sense. So, yay! That dungeon's gonna be the bomb, and that is foreshadowing. <laughs> Thank you all for joining in. It was great chatting with you all. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and God bless. Take care, everybody.